Hello everybody, my name is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel and on today's video we actually have another wig unboxing. So the wig that I have purchased today and will be unboxing on camera is the Dalgona 16 inch wig from Valtress. When I was looking up this wig to decide whether or not I actually wanted to buy it, I was watching some YouTube videos and it seemed like a lot of the videos out there were people that had purchased the wig and either secondhand or made some modifications to it already. And I really wanted to know what I was getting out of the box from the manufacturer. And so I went ahead and purchased it and I am going to show you just that. I have the box here, have not opened it at all. It is still sealed. So let's go ahead and get started. So a little bit about this uh, specific wig that I bought. Uh, it is average cap size. It is a heat friendly synthetic and the color that I bought was brown sugar sweet cream, which seems to be their most popular color. Okay. That is all the information I had. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. So I will tell you one thing. This is the first like official synthetic wig um, that I have bought. I have two human hair wigs. Uh, this is one of them. So I'm kind of excited to dive into the world of synthetics a little more. Um, just because I feel like if I ever want to go like to the beach or somewhere where I feel like I want to wear a wig but I don't want to mess up my human hair wigs or like expose them to too much sunlight um this is something that I would like to wear so go right out of the box here it is uh, we have a coupon and a wig cap very nice I don't wear wig caps um I don't have that much hair so I kind of just like if it's like a wig like this, I just let my hair like come, like this is my hair right here, just like chilling at the back. Um, it blends in really nicely with this wig. Um, but otherwise I would just put it in like a tiny, tiny little ponytail and then put the wig over it. But we have a ball press box. Let's grab it out. Let's open it up. I'm actually really excited. Okay. Go box. Here she is. Get her out. Okay. Ooh, this looks, I actually really like this coloring. I think it's a very natural looking color. Take out the paper and then she's got a hairnet on. All right. So here it is. So I am sitting in front of a window. So I think this is pretty um, accurate lighting. Wow. I actually really like it. I really like this natural curl so love it actually the hair is really soft um it's got right now it's got a zigzag parting in it it's got a lace kind of like a lace front um you have your left hand part yeah kind of left hand part kind of close to the center though very close to the center um and then the rest of the cap is actually wefted so open wefts which is very nice for summertime very nice very breathable but i am gonna go ahead and take this wig off and throw this one on just straight out of the box so you can see it okay <laughs> so here is the wig literally just thrown on my head i haven't even changed the part yet uh first impressions is that the hair is very soft this piece right here is going to need a little bit of work. I think I'm going to change, not change the part too much, just get it as center most as I can get it. I'm going to give it a little turn before I touch it. This is the side, back. This, I feel like a little bit of like an emo goth moment. Some people like this. I don't particularly like this. Now we're gonna try and style it a little bit. First and foremost, I'm going to fix the little part here in the middle. So, let's see how we do this. All right, hold your hand, just sit down. Right, let's see, right here. Down, and separate. Right. And separate, So, this looks rough. This definitely looks rough. Oh no. So, from what you're trying, like I said, this is my first synthetic wave. So, people tend to keep up to keep the hands. Look at this, because it is keep it as a fiber. Give it a little moment here. I'm gonna do work on this, keep my hands. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and this is what I've got. Um, not quite, I might actually have to break out um, a little bit of heat. Alrighty, so this bump has not really gone away. I think I'm gonna have to spend just a little bit more time with it. Um, but overall, I am absolutely 
absolutely loving this hair. This piece also seems to be coming down a little bit, but I can just give it a little tuck and it should be fine. Um, super cute hair. I really love this length and I also really love the color. I feel like it's looking a little bit more blonde in like with the outside light, but I think if you're someone like me who is used to wearing like brunette colors um, and you're looking to maybe transition to something a little more blonde, I think this is a perfect kind of transition color. I think it's got like a gorgeous blend of both a brunette and a blonde. And I actually really love, if you see here, they actually put a line of lighter hair at the front where the lace front is. And I think that was a really excellent decision because I think it really helps to blend in the lace front. Okay, so we are standing in a window now. So for right now, until this bump kind of goes away, we are going to ignore it. I think that the density, at least for me, is just right. I would say that it is a lighter density piece. I can pull it all up into a little pony like this. Um, but I would say it's, we're getting there. I might go play with this little piece here a little bit, try and get it to stick down just a little bit more. Um, but so far, I would say it's very cute. So I'm gonna pull some of this forward. It is a light piece, you know, if I go like this and twist, you can kind of see through a little bit, but I personally think that I look better with lighter density pieces, so I'm not too worried about that. If you're somebody who really loves like a thicker density piece, um, that may not be your forte, you may not love it as much, but I think it's a super cute, color. So I'm actually going to go get like a bobby pin or something to pull it back just a little bit and see if we can get some styling options going. Okay, I've grabbed a little claw clip. I'm going to put it right here on my sleeve for right now. What we're going to do is I'm going to try... Okay, what do we think? Look at this. How gorgeous is this literally hardly did anything from last time I honestly just tucked this bang that was annoying me I just gave it a good tuck inside the ear this one it's kind of falling down this is the natural curl of the piece super pretty very light tuck in the ear took the bulk of the top piece gave it a little tuck back here I'm loving it I think that this it's gorgeous. Alrighty, so it is a little bit later. I have been wearing this piece for probably an hour now and the cap is so ridiculously comfortable. Um, I would say that I do have a small head. Uh, my head is 21, I think it's 21 and a half, 21.75. Uh, so my head is a little bit smaller, um, but I feel like I could even adjust the cap to be a little bit smaller if I needed it, but it's super comfortable, super lightweight and breathable. I really love, I would say the, like the base color of this wig. I think it's actually very close to my natural hair color, which is kind of like a, a medium, sort of like mousy brown is my natural hair color. Super cute, absolutely love it. I just pulled a little piece through. Uh, the only thing that I have noticed here is that if you look at the top of this piece, there seems to be, I don't know if you can even tell, there seems to be a little like clump of the, obviously the uh, blonde hairs are all throughout the hairline here, but there seems to just be a little more noticeable clump. I may kind of pluck that clump just a little bit, um, but if I'm wearing it like this, you won't even know. Nobody, there's absolutely no reason that you would know. Uh, super cute. I'm gonna do a little spin, but that is the end of this little unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was helpful if somebody's considering buying this piece and uh, they're kind of tired of seeing the like uh, reviews for people that have already had it for a while. I mean, I literally took this out the box just over an hour ago and this is what I'm able to do with it. I don't think that it really needs any work. I could totally go out. I have a hair in my face. 
Um, I could totally go out and get away with wearing it just like this. I don't think that it really needs any plucking or really needs any sort of work. I think it's definitely like a shake and go kind of style. Absolutely love it. So that is the end of this unboxing. So if you like this video, if you got something out of it, if it helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram as well. If you ever want to request a video, you can either comment it down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. Well, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.